Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is update function module. One of the extremely important concept of a BAP, widely, widely used in the project, tricky also, conceptual also, and in interview, lots of questions will be from this particular topic an extremely, extremely useful concept. So our next topic is update function module. So what is update function module? A update function module is a function module which has the processing type update module in the properties tab or attributes tab. You all know you are creating a function module through SC37 transaction code. By default, the radio button will be regular function module or normal function module. After that, depends upon requirement, we will go for remote enabled module or update module. Now, in modularization technique, we covered that topic function module at that time the processing type will be normal function module or regular function module. Whenever you want to run the function module in the same system, you always, always create a normal or regular function module. Whenever you want to call the function module from the external system, at that time, we will choose second radio button remote enabled module. In the cross applications playlist, if you remember, at that time, we choose the second radio button remote enabled module. During covering the topic BAPI and RFC in cross applications playlist, we always, always choose the second radio button because we want to call this function module from external system. Now we have third type of function module, which has the processing type update module. So update function module is that function module, which has the proper processing type update module in the attributes or properties tab. Firstly, we will understand the topic. Then I will come on to the purpose. Why, why we are going for update function module. So first point, which is written in the theory, that processing type is update module in the properties or attributes tab. Now, how we can call a update function module? If you remember, Whenever we want to call a normal function module or regular function module, we have the syntax call function name of the function module. Whenever you want to call a normal function module, this is the syntax. And if you remember, whenever we want to call a remote enabled function module, or we can say RFC function module, at that time, how we are calling call function, name of the function module, then we are providing the destination and name of the destination in which the function module is available. Now we are going for update function module. So how we can call a update function module, call function, name of the function module, and we will simply, simply use the keyword in update task. So whenever you will use the keyword in update task, it means that function module will be treated as update module. Yes, the syntax to call a update function module is how we can call a update function module, call function, name of the function module and we need to use the keyword in update task. Now, now we will move on to next important point. If you want to see the syntax, you can see this is the program call function 
name of the function module and I have a keyword in update task. Now we will move on to third point. During program execution, when the system reaches the call function, function module in update task, the function module is not executed immediately. My first extremely important point, whenever you are calling a function module in update task, the function module will not execute at that point of time. It will not execute immediately at that point of time. Suppose if I will go for simple understanding. Suppose I am not writing in update task as of now. If I want to go for this particular function module, suppose if I will put a break point here and I will execute. Suppose I am giving some input. This is just a sample program I took. Anyways, whenever we will start the practical, we will write each and everything. Suppose I am giving an input to this particular program. At this point of time, I am not calling this function module in update task. So this is our normal function module or regular function module. It will be treated as normal or regular function module. I am not calling in the update task. So suppose if I want to go inside this function module, I am doing F5. You can see this is our function module. So function module is executing immediately because it is a normal function module or regular function module. But if I will call the function module using in update task syntax, it will not execute immediately. Suppose if I will put a breakpoint and now I'm writing in update task. Now I will activate and show you. Now I will put a breakpoint. And now I will simply run and I will give a input. This is the input I passed. I will go to execute. Now if I will do F5 and try to go inside this function module. Now I am calling this function module in update task. SAP will treat this as a update function module. Suppose I am doing F5. Now whenever I will do F5, have you seen? I have not gone inside the function module. It means this function module has not executed at that point of time. This function module is not executed immediately because you are calling in update task. Now I will move on to next point. Now next point is update function module executes in a special work process that is called as update work process. See, we are running this particular program and whenever the, this function module we are calling in update task. So it has not executed at this point of time. So this function module execute in a special work process that is called as update work process. If you want a knowledge on work process, you can simply refer the basics of SAP and ABAP play playlist. I explained at that point of time what is work process. Each and every task is assigned to a work process and one work process can handle one work or task at a time. So whenever you are going for a function module in update task at that time, this function module will not run. This function module will run in a special work process it means a dedicated work process will be assigned to this particular function module and that is called as update work process now at what time 
this update work process will trigger it trigger by the commit work statement and have you seen in this function in this program i have written a commit work statement whenever this commit work will execute after this this function module will run in the update work process it will be assigned to the update work process just see i will do commit work and you will 100% understand i am doing i am executing a commit work now you can see we have i am getting a message update debugging has been triggered now just see now i am inside the function module now the update work process has been started this function module has not executed at that point of time once the commit work execute have you seen when the commit work execute i got a message update debugging has been triggered because i put a update debugging that i will explain yes now after that this function module is running or using in or using a special work process that is called as update work process so this this particular function module is now now running with the help of update work process this task is assigned to update work process so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with extremely important topic that is update function module we covered update function module in the properties tab of the function module we need to choose the third radio button update module whenever you want to call the function module you need to use the keyword in update task whenever you will use the word keyword in update task the function module will not execute immediately it will execute in a special work process a work process will be assigned to that function module that will called as update work process and yes at what time the update work process will trigger after the commit work statement whenever commit work will happen the update function module the execution of update function module will be assigned to update work process it will be assigned to the update work process and i showed you in the debugging mode whenever i did f5 this function module did not execute after the commit work execute the control comes into this particular function module because i enable the update debugging that's why i entered into the debugging mode and in the upcoming videos i will explain yes how you can go for update debugging in the next video i will go for the purpose we did all these things we understood the concept and at the last it is extremely important to understand why why we are going for update function module so in the next video we will cover the purpose of update function module so that's it in this video thank you